Hey, good morning, Mudhorn. How are you doing, brother? Thank you so much for dropping in. Setting the stream up, I'll be right there. Hang tight. Good. Good to hear it, brother. Good to hear it. Almost done setting up. Be right there. Hey, good morning, Ginger. Hope you're doing well this morning. Be right there. Hang tight.
Well, hello. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm Keepy75, and I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. And it's a wonderful Monday morning. And good morning to you, Mudhorn Clan and Ginger Fox Clan. Guys, you guys are both clans. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! How are you guys doing this morning? Let's go! Switch that over and let's uh let's jump in. Oh, you know it would help if I have the damn gis disc in there, wouldn't it? Hold on. I forgot I was playing freaking uh, Rise of the Ronin last. Ugh. Should be fine. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I ain't too bad. How are you? I'm I'm a okay. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. I can't complain. I can't complain. I'm very excited to at least start this one. And we'll go back and forth with Dragon's Dogma and uh, Rise of the Ronin. I I have my webcam, guys, but I'm just going to keep it off for the, mom, for the moment while we go through all these settings so you guys can see it clearly. Um, I just got a PS5 Slim for my desk. New setup. Nice. Congrats, brother. Subtitles on. English, English. Okay. All right, max brightness. Adjust while facing the screen head on until it's barely visible. I can't see anything. Oh, there it is. All right, so I got to set this by my phone, so I got to give it a second because it's got a few minutes, seconds delay. Are you enjoying it, Mudhorn? disc version or the the digital version i think we're gonna go right about there that way it's not too dark and everybody can see it okay make sure that's uh, all right holy crap that's dark that is dark. Mundu, welcome to the stream, my <clears throat> my friend. <clears throat> Jesus, I got a frog in my throat. How are you, bud? I think we'll go with that for now. Uh, I am playing Dragons. Oh, nice. What's up, Kiwi? Do you think that the Xbox Series S can run GTA 6? Absolutely not. It might be able to run it, but not at what it's supposed to be ran at. It might not even be... Uh, launched at, at that it's like when a couple of games i think it was um starfield that was all the games were supposed to be able to be ran all the same on both of them consoles and then microsoft came out and said that it can't run as it should on the series s so they kind of dumbed it down a little bit all right so brain adjust the picture until the center disappears until what Adjust until the picture in the center disappears. Okay. You know, it sucks because I can't really set it by my, what I'm looking at. I have to set it by how you guys are seeing it. So I got to set it a little bit more than what it should be. Because the way YouTube compresses everything, it's like crazy. I think we're going to leave it right about there. All right, we'll go with that. That's for the black units, I would imagine. Uh, into your age. Really? You guys are going to see my age? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, I have to scroll down. This game has autosave. 
Of course it does. Uh, enable network features. This will allow you to hire pawns, player flowers, created by other users. It will also allow other users to hire... Yeah, sure, why not? Now, I played the first one of this many, many years ago. Good morning, Dakota. No, I'm, I'm 48, Dakota. I'll be 49 in July. This game, the graphics of this game, I heard, are exceptionally well. As you can already see, it looks very, very good. All right, let's go into the options. We need to sound music. Uh, background music. Just to make sure there's no copyright. Keep that very low. Uh, dynamic range headphones. Uh, you look younger than that that you look to me well thank you thank you very much i appreciate that enemy voices and also the um, the character creation in this game is is pretty in depth mini map auto sheath priority combine camera all right i'm gonna leave all this stuff the way it is for now brightness hdr mode is there any like um let's see like presets for graphics i don't see any i just see brightness i don't see like a performance mode maybe it don't need it all right stock game All right, let's do it. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. <laughs> wow. This looks so good on my 4K TV. <laughs> It's similar, Dakota. It's a little different, though, but it's very similar. On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our Fabermont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long. Have we endured? Yet it has not been for naught. At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last! We may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> Such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. Your Majesty. Oh, how long I have Good morning, Kyle. I'm not going to talk during this cutscene, so I'll talk after. As soon as it's done. It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! 
Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our allegiance reign when they end. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! Long live the sovereign! Oh. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Whoa. This must be the character creation. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on. Step All forward. right, there I am. Yay. All right, so you can either select a prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank state. Phew. All right, here we go with uh, character creation. So, excuse me, let's take Are a look at then? what's going on here. Um, before I do, though, let me address the comments. Kyle says, I'm playing more of Rise of the Ronin. I made a female character and a male character. I didn't change the face. I just made them both buffed and tall. Very nice, Kyle. That is awesome. Glad you're enjoying Rise of the, the Ronin. Is it you? No? Mm, it's hard to say. That looks like a Khajiit from Skyrim, don't it? <laughs> I don't know if I want to be if a female. If the one I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, there'll be trouble for the lot of you. Or a male. I, I usually play female characters. I'm thinking you. about getting this game for my birthday. Yeah, the first one was really fun. Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns. Well, Which you can be a little, little kid as well as you want to. I wonder what they seem to be in like sections. Is it you? No. Are these? I, I wonder it's if I'm picking my my Are actual player one, or if I'm picking a pawn. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come for speak up, you good for nothing. I might pawns. just pick Which pick him, it? or maybe even him. It's, you know what? We'll go uh -huh. with him. I thought I recognized you. All right, so yes. I'm sure you can fix these. Uh, detailed customization, head, base, body, masculine, human. Detailed customization. Holy crap. Head, body, lower posture. He's got a huge scar right in his chest. Is this game only on PS5 or both? It's on both. Wait, 75. I might just leave this the way it is. Apparently, the bigger and thicker you make your character, the more you can carry. Your carry weight increases, but it also reduces your stamina. Calf size, thigh size. It, even the first one was pretty in depth, but I can tell you right now, this has a very, very, very highly customizable character creation. All right, so we have one, two, three, four different classes. We got fighter, archer, mage, and thief. So fighters battle their enemies in close quarters, wielding a sword and a shield. 
Their mighty attacks and counterattacks allow them to cut down foes with ease. Vocation can be changed later. All right, so that's good to know. You have Archer. Archers wield the bow, striking down foes from a distance. Their arrows are quick to find enemy weak points, turning the tide of battle. And you have Mage. Mages use their slaves to cast a variety of spells that commands of enchantments and curative magics uh, make them helpful addition to any party. And then you have the thief. Uh, thieves appear as a flash of daggers on the battlefield. Too quick for the eye, their speed and agility allow them to break through the enemy's guard with ease. You know what? We're going with the fighter. Uh, what else? I'm human voice. How do you listen to it? Test voice. <laughs> That's so funny. Hmm. <laughs> going with that. All right, finalize. Let me see what the races are real quick. Changing the race or body type will affect the character's overall appearance. Uh, appearance. Proceed. Once finalized, the Arisen's race cannot be changed. Okay, so no, we don't want to do that. All right, name. Monkier. Is this supposed to be my middle name? Toggle equipment. Lighting. Lighting type. Oh, wow. That is cool as hell. Confirm back age. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty six. <laughs> wow, that goes fast. We'll put it at put it at thirty. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Is this supposed to be like a, a nickname or a middle name or something? Adonis. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, let's do it. I don't want to take too I long in this. I like that look in your eyes. It is clearly brazen for a pawn. Uh, next. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. All right, we have uh, control.
Priority quest set automatically. Oh. It does look good already. Looks really good. I'll tell you, this RE engine is incredible. Excavation site. <laughs> what do you think you're up to, layabout? Get a move on. Layabout. This looks incredible. Guys, if you haven't hit the like button, could you please do so. Do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. see four viewers could we match the Time likes with the viewers that'd be awesome please all right pick up a boulder is the boulder at the end there or am i supposed to just pick one up randomly you are prepared to work then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Gotcha. Oh, the vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap over aught that poses a hindrance to you. Oh, grab. There we go. Right, we're already doing some crazy work here. My patience wears a little thinner each time. A job well done. Now the next step is to Whoa. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. L3 dash. I got a sword. Let me just clip that real quick. All right. Um. Really? I gotta do this already?
powers and the light can be effective when it's not a Grab objects with R2 and throw them with R1. Okay. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> Flee for your life. You must jump. That is the only path. Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. This is so cool. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Whoa. A phoenix. Okay. This game's already got me like wrapped. Hooked. Look at this. Looks like the beginning of a movie. This looks incredible, guys. YouTube doesn't know justice. Raw footage that I'm watching on my TV straight from the console. Oh my God. It's incredible. Whoa. That looked like it hurt.
across the pond. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Wow. Oi! Are you alright? What happened here? Yikes. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. All right, first taste of freedom. We are in the game, guys. Let's do this. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? The first trust. Chest, trust. Can't even speak. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Well, first enemies. Ah, goblins! Use L1 to activate sight. weapon skill. Okay, so that. Whoa! If when an enemy is flagging, flinching, press triangle to unleash a powerful successive strike. When one of the fiends comes to you, best guard is dodge. Take you some slow. We'll give you an advantage against their ranks. Ow. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Lander attacks are more destructive, but will leave you vulnerable. So Ooh. seize your chance to land on the moment the enemy flinches. Block! You can't lock on to people? Do not let yourself be swarmed by enemies in numbers. Best to draw them away from the horde. Alright, I gotta get the hang of this combat. Watch your enemy's movements, Kev. Remember, the essence of battle lies in protecting oneself just as much as in routing the enemy. Turn around! What the hell is going on? It wouldn't let me lock on to it. It's weird. You would think when you press block, it would, like, I don't know. We'll get it. Always do. Five goblins. Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. If you find your strength flagging, then buy the curative or have a bit of green one. Alright, so we got switch weapon skill with L1. When I don't one have any yet. Comes to you, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. All right, so when you're, it does kind of lock on when you, when you're defending and you're pressing R1, and you're looking at them, it kind of does lock on to them. Render attacks are more destructive, but will leave you vulnerable. So seize your chance to land one the moment the enemy flinches. All right, we're getting it. Do not let yourself be swarmed by enemies in number. Best to draw them away from the horde and pick them up one by one. Watch your enemies move as carefully. Block! Holy shit! Remember, the essence of battle lies in protecting oneself just as much as in routing the enemy. 
Alright, we did it. From the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. But an apple. Yeah, I thought there was more than three enemies. It seemed Where like there was going? like six. I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. have anything to heal with either. We're going to be facing them to be able to block. Come on, move! I can't even move! <laughs> Wouldn't let me dash. Oh yeah, the combat's gonna take some getting used to. Come on. If you truly care for someone, you had best not stay away for too long there. At least their affections begin to fade. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Yeah, but how do you use these things? Onslaught, dash, jump. All I know for sure is that tis a beast e'er more fearsome than a still. I can hardly believe it. A great is said that the arrival of the sovereign portent. <laughs> Come on, swing. It looks like Where are you going? there are a lot of bugs. No, nah, there's no bugs. That's not a bug, Dakota. That's how it's supposed to be. The combat is different in this game. That's definitely not a bug. It's just the way the combat is. But yeah, that's not a bug. You have to be facing them in order for it to, to block. There's, uh, there's really no lock-on technique. All right, so when you take damage, not only is your remaining health reduced, but the maximum health you can recover is reduced also. The loss gauge represents this temporary reduction and is likely to accumulate if you do not rest between battles. Your maximum health will remain reduced even after the battle is over. And you will be unable to recover it with the use of curative magic or items. So you have to freaking... you have to rest. The loss gauge can only be recovered by resting at an inn or a campsite. Keep your party and find fiddle by resting after prolonged battles and consider a tactical retreat if your party's health is worn too low there are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk if you're not squeamish about picking at their bones methods. where do you go have you beheld the dragon as yet still i just said that the arrival of the sovereign portends an age of peace Yet the only trouble has followed. What does it all mean? I had to... Alright. Let's try this again. Jesus Christ! I'm stunned. Alright, here we go. I don't even have anything to, to, like, fix my health with. 
There we go. There we go. Got him. And I'm level two now. All right. We got it. But I'm almost freaking dead. Any more bodies over going? here? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Gathering and combining materials. Uh, I can't even. It's quest list. Uh, back. Is it just me, or is history errors like Fortnite seasons, like every century had a theme? I, I don't know, Mandu. I don't, I don't even know what you mean. What do you mean, like, centuries had a theme? Where do you think you're going? I'm Don't exploring. Just... Shut up. I'm trying to find something to eat so I can heal. Fighter, view tutorial logbook. Uh, I think we're here finally. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then. No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Hmm. This is cool. All right, so now you will now summon your main pawn, the loyal companion who will accompany you throughout your adventure. What should they look like? Try to envisage their appearance. You can either begin with a preset or choose to create your pawn from a blank slate. We'll start from a preset just to make it easier. She's tiny. It's like normal height. Could have a female with me. Where's the hair? Let's change the hair. Head, skin, brows. Wait a minute. Here we go. Brows, eyes, ears, cheeks, reset head, hairstyle. Here we go.
All right, I think I went through them. Goldilocks. No, oh, these are still different. Right, now I think it reset. Yeah, all right. Uh, here, root color. Whoa. Tip color. <laughs> you, root tip, root tip blend. Oh my God, there's so much you can do. Hold on, can I? I can. Oh my God, that is close. <laughs> Wowzers. I want to see the actual. All right, this is better. It's like different tones. I think I like the highlights. All right, tip color. I think we're just gonna leave it like that. Root tip blend. Sheen position, sheen. All right, we're gonna leave that there. Kind of like it. Root color, tip color, okay. Eyes. Eye colors. Eye color presets. Wow, look at the detail in the eyes. It looks like a very hard game to play just by what, well, so it's just like anything, it's gonna have a learning curve because everything's gonna be somewhat different, but I was thinking too hard into it where I was trying to play it like it was like a Souls-like game where I was being cautious. Whereas at the end there, if you notice, I just kept hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting. So I'm gonna try that. That looked like it seemed to work. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I was trying too hard, it looked like. I kind of like that right there. All right, vocation. What do I want her to be? Can she be an archer? To fight for like behind me, a mage, thief. Maybe she sh should be an archer. Kind-hearted, compassionate, devoted, and. Dutiful, the most obedient sort of pawn favors a balanced approach with an emphasis on support, quick to aid allies in need. Rational, shrewd, and strategizing, a pawn characterized by caution, favors defense and evasion, employing clever tactics to survive at all costs. Simple, curious, earnest, and adventurous, a pawn with their heart on their... A pawn with their heart on their sleeve enjoys exploration and gathering items and is always up for a challenge. Straightforward is candid, flippant, and impulsive. A pawn's unbounded precepts enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head on with daring assaults. 
balanced approach. I think we're gonna go with the balanced or the calm. Rational, shrewd, and strategizing. Pawn characterized by caution, favors defense and evasion. Deploying clever tactics to survive at all costs. With seams, quick to aid. You know what? This is balanced. I'm gonna go with that. And voice. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evac. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evac. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated Ooh. and safe. The people here are evac. The people here are. The people here. The people. Here, there are more. There are more who can. There are more who. There are more who can yet. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. It seems the rain has abated. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Okay, there it is. We've got about 15 more minutes, guys. And I gotta go take a shower, get ready for work. Oh, she came out pretty good. I like it. Pawns are known as crosses of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and all I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Sweet. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. Okay. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Water Watch Outpost, Northern Watch Encampment. Okay. Riftstones. By touching a riftstone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge Ottawix worlds, which is which a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. <coughs> this allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preference. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you, however, so you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Okay. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Nomads, we are off course. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the Riftstone that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Riftstones. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Arisen. It is the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Okay. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. All right. Pawn inclinations. There are four types of pawn inclinations. When you enter the covenant with your main pawn, you will be able to select an inclination for them. This will determine certain aspects of the pawn's behavior, including their manner of speech and the actions they tend to take. However, all pawns serve the Arisen faithfully, regardless of their inclination. 
Hey, what's up, vicious? Good day to you, sir. Welcome. All right, so kind-hearted pawns. These pawns are... I think this is what I took. The pawns are attentive to the arisen, and the allies are quick to aid them. Pawns holding down the casting beneficial enchantments. Loyal and doubtful they are. Devoted to the arisen. Prefer to remain by their side. Calm. These pawns are strategic thinkers who can be counted upon to assist the arisen no matter the difficulty faced. In battle, they are concerned with survival, favoring defense and invasion, and employing clever tactics to their best foes, to best their foes. Shrewd and efficient, they will dispose of unneeded items in their packs on their own initiative. I think that's what I took. Simple pawns. These pawns are earnest and adventurous and will ensure that the Arisen's journey is filled with new discoveries. As keen explorers brimming with curiosity, they are highly observant and tend to be most concerned with gathering items and examining their surroundings. They are also generous by nature and will often gift their finds to their companions. Thanks, brother. And straightforward pawns. Uh, these pawns are candid and impulsive and are sure to make the Arisen's journey an unforgettable experience. Adapt at spotting uh, enemies from afar and blessed with fighting spirit, they are apt to rush headlong into battle, tackling even the larger monsters with unflinching courage. Their bold and decisive assaults can turn the tide when all seems lost. And then, what is this? All right, these are just regular, regular things. Okay, shops and facilities, vocations and skills. If we need to uh, look at that, we will. So this is the actual menu items. All right, so you can combine stuff. <clears throat> We're gonna have to get into this more. I'm sure it's gonna show us how to do all this. Head armor, equipped, equipped. Doesn't look like I have much but what i'm wearing glad for you bro thank you man nice you got ronin in this game bro yes sir i did <sighs> rise of the ronin is actually really good and so far this one seems pretty good i just gotta get into it a little more i'm still think i'm out of the tutorial but not sure I still have items that I haven't seen yet. Oh, my pawn. How do I switch pawns like this? Okay, main pawn. So that's all her stuff. Optimized weight, height, lowest. All right, let's see what it wants me to do. History. NPC logbook. These are the people that I've met so far. Okay. All right, so I need to, I think I need to rest because I got no health. I need to find a bed or something. Well met. A treasure chest. Well met. Oh, okay. Would that the gold would only rain down on my head. I don't even know if I have any money. <clears throat> I got 550 gold. Okay. Wanderer's Hood. Does it give me any protection? It does. Looks felt cap. Defense 58. All right, right now I have kind of like nothing, so we need something. I only got 550, so maybe something cheap to put over my uh, pants. That's 420, 415. What if I do this? These are all the hats. Chainmail. 820 I can't none of that these are boots why can't I get pants Cause 
explorers builds greaves so I can get one of these I think I'm gonna go with these for now the 62 knockdown resistance yeah the pollution resurrection well if I got this that's 220 is there anything else really cheap like the hat yeah let's let's try this It's 220, it brings it to 58, and I get a debiliation res, whatever that means. So we'll go with one of them. And maybe this. So at least I got some protection. Go to checkout. Purchase. I right, got 170 left. Okay, we're good here. Always a pleasure. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. All right, I gotta find a place to rest or something because I'm about to die. Autosave data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in this world. It is recommended that you rest at ends at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save data. All right, so this must be it here. Hey, what's up, Jam? Welcome, welcome, brother. Well then, you see no time. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say. There's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. <laughs> Resting at inn. Staying in an inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers your loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. When resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. For sighted adventures will stay at inns regularly to avoid risk when traveling uh, far afield. Okay. How you doing, Jam? Rest. We must rest, though the sun is still up. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. All right, so my pawn is level two. All right, guys, unfortunately, we're going to have to end this here. I have to get ready for work. Uh, doing good was in London at the weekend though. So that was hectic. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure Did you go there for work or just getting away? Simply ask me to sell off your surplus items. I'll have the gold for you in a trice Higher It costs zero let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently. And this can result in unexpected consequences. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care, spe uh, specializations can prove to be very useful in our well worth trying out took the boy there for his birthday oh okay well happy birthday to him then if you would like your pawn to learn a special specialization you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you sooner or later these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization a pawn can only acquire a specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. 
Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effects. All right, so I have two pawns now. Is that what's going on? I do. All right, so I got two pawns. Let's go. Who are you? I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Alright, so these are all pawns. I guess you can hire so many pawns. I don't know what the max is. But we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna end the stream. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the road to life. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. Thanks, Dakota. I'm I'm tired of them ads that pop up when I watch you. For those ads, actually, I get paid from those ads. I'm sorry that you're tired from them, but it does help support me directly when you do watch them. That's how YouTube actually pays me, is they put ads into the content here and there. And by everyone that does watch them... For at least, I think, 30 to 40 seconds, if it's long enough. That's how YouTube pays me by that. If you guys just keep skipping them, then I don't get paid at all. But that's all up to you. I only get the one when I first join. Fine by me. Yeah. Well, every once in a while, depending on how long you're actually here, if you stay long enough, you will get a an ad that, that pops up. And I fear that the list I gave was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be paid, of course. Uh, right now. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. All right, setting a priority quest. You can select a quest to prioritize from among those you have accepted. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. Oh, that's cool. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as a priority. All right, so we're going to end this right here, guys, because it's already 9.18, and I'm already, like, 10 minutes later than what I should be. But I will continue playing this, whether or not I... All right, I lost my mic there for... What? Can you guys hear me? I hope so. I will continue playing this. Um, I don't know if you guys heard what I said before, but I will continue playing this, whether or not it's on stream or not. That will be up to you guys. I will try to create a poll to see if you guys want me to bounce back and forth between this and Rise of the Ronin. That will be strictly left in your hands. Um, but whatever comes about, we will... Uh, go from there with it but i do need to go to work now so i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and as always if you are new to the channel welcome if you have been here right along thank you so much for the support it is greatly appreciated uh and for those of you out there who are unaware there are channel memberships here on the channel there's a tier one and a tier two channel membership Tier 1 consists of getting a badge that displays on the side of your name. Your name's highlighted everywhere you go on my channel. You unlock these channel-specific emojis that I just posted into the chat, and you get a private VIP chat room in my Discord server where you're able to chat privately with me and all the other members of the channel. You get a private chat command that you can use here in chat that when used, it will bring up, let's say, your YouTube channel, your Discord, um, you can post links to artwork, music. Um, if you're a business owner, you can post links to products. So pretty much, you know, it's a place to have more of your stuff seen. And Tier 1 
is three dollars a month moving on to tier two tier two consists of everything that tier one has to offer but on top of all of that you get a private vip self-promotional room in my discord server where you're able to self-promote your youtube videos your music your artwork again if you're a business owner you can promote your products pretty much place to hang out meet new people potentially gaining new subscribers and our customers in tier two is ten dollars a month now if anyone is interested even in the slightest you can click the blue join button right down below the stream here become a member now and get a shout out as early as tomorrow morning same time between 7 30 and 8 a.m eastern standard time now moving on two channel shout outs as you should see here on your screen we have nine total members one tier two crazy lady wix gaming thank you so much for being a tier two member and the rest of tier ones as follows we have gammy wombat desert b games oh cranky gamer jack and taddy gaming gamer nurse gale regan gamer bocker gaming and gaming with fox thank you all for being channel members it is much 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 appreciated it does help me pay for all the games i play for you guys helps me make repairs if and when repairs are needed but most importantly helps me to give back to you guys by running giveaways there is a live giveaway running right now for a 20 dollars gift card of the winner's choice just keep in mind you must be subscribed here to my youtube channel in order to claim the prize upon winning and i do that to make sure that the prizes get into the hands of the people that deserve it the most which are you guys my subscribers and not just people looking for a free handout okay so like and subscribe to each and every one of them they will all like and subscribe back if you are also a content creator as we do try to give each other a little bit of a boost in the youtube algorithm by watching and replaying each other's videos so with all that being said guys i hope you all enjoy your day enjoy your morning whatever time zone you're in just be well be safe and if you haven't told a loved one you love them make sure you do so i'm back from gdc oh i missed that catch it ah welcome phoenix sorry you're a little bit late but it's all right thank you for coming when you did and i hope you have a good day phoenix okay hope you guys all have a good day i'll see you all in the next one and keep you 75 peace bye dakota have a good day